So for the last three minutes, we've been debating the pronunciation of this superstar's last name, Francesca Schiavon. Eh. Eh. All right. It. The Is Italian that Schiavone sensation. or Schiavone? I'm like, I think it's Schiavone. Italian sensation here in the Audlem Brown Vancouver Open competing over the next couple of weeks. Welcome. Love the blue shoes, by the way. That's it. Clearly, I missed the memo on yeah. the blue shoes. That's Bring not like me. So you're at the uh, Audlem Brown Van Open, which is uh, the 15th to the 23rd? Yeah. At Hollyburn Country Club. Great event to get to. We're so glad to have you in Vancouver. So much to cover off. You won the French Open in 2010. You're a clay specialist. We got some highlights of that from uh, 2010. Tell us what it was like to win this tournament. It was great. You know, when you work hard, hard, and then uh, you arrive close and you say, but I didn't catch it. And then uh, in one day, in uh, two weeks, I expressed myself so good. I can see this imaging and I saw this uh, match point I don't know how many times. Well, I love uh, it. Yeah. At the end, it uh, was amazing. It was something that I dreamed for all the life. So how do you manage the emotion and the feeling of knowing that you're close in a tournament, you don't want to look too far ahead and you, you want to capture this? Is it more the coach? Is it more internal as a player? How do you deal with uh, managing that I expectation? Think it's, uh, it's both. It's, uh, the people that help you are very important because they try to take out from you the best always. So with balance, uh, with uh, determination, with attitude. And then it is my job. It's like you sit here. You have to give the best every time. I start. I remember the first match was so tough. I won 6-4 in the third set, and I was so pissed and say, "Why am I not in a good condition, good shape? I worked so much. I was speaking with them during the match, and they have to." Call me Calm me and down. say, don't worry, keep going. Uh, you are not playing good, but you have the chance to win. And that's very important for sportive when you don't play good and you can win the match. That's amazing. That's the, the more difficult to do it because when you play good, Everything is going really fast. That brings us to uh, Eugenie Bouchard, who, of course, we all are following so closely. It's such quick success, it seemed, after so much hard work. And now the struggles. What, do you, what is that like from an athletic point of view to try and get past those demons? I think uh, she's young and she has to find a good balance between uh, herself, her play, and job. We love, but it's a job. And the, all the requests that she has all around uh, doesn't look uh, so tough, but it is. And uh, I think she is in a, a part of of her life that she has just to remember the beautiful and the great athlete that she is because she's really great talent. And uh, to put much more in attention of this and to find the people that help her to protect her and to decide okay you do this you don't do this uh, do your job first and worry about those Clarice, requests yeah. later Clarice, yeah. it did seem like a flood of it after her successes yeah uh, see it's tough but anyway when when you play a great year the tougher job is to play good the year after that's a, a balance very thin uh, and you can do it much, much better when you pass the first time and you do the second time. So for sure, Eugenie, when she come back, she has a good experience. Uh, sometimes when you make a mistake or when it's tough, you learn a lot, much more than when it's everything is easy and you go, you go, you go, you don't recognize. So it's, a, I think for Eugenie is a great opportunity to grow up and explode another time, and I'm sure that she will. Well, she handles herself with great class, unlike Nick Kyrgios, who we just saw on the court. Uh, quick comments on this. Just one, tennis need a bad boy, and two, the worst thing that anyone has ever said to you on the court. What would that be? Yeah, sometimes can happen. The competition uh, is taking out Nick, from I you. Be doing my job if I didn't sometimes that's the, the worst. But uh, this is competition. Come on. Uh, I don't know what to say, Ria, because uh, it's never happened to me. But you can see him. He is a, in a part. He is crazy. In a part, for sure, he didn't wanna uh, hurt so much. Twenty years old. You That's did a, the same. Come on, you yeah. did the same. Then, for sure, Babrinka said uh, smart things to say. Uh, 
if he is an example for young, we have to stop and teach him what, what to do. And a fine might help that. Let's see, fine money, money has not the principal things in the life. Right, that's true. Yeah. So maybe not the best tack to take, but just start putting the word that it's best to act with grace. Clearly, we have Grace on our couch here today. And Francesca <laughs> Schiavone, you can see her at the Vancouver Open, the Audlem Brown Vancouver Open at Hollyburn Country Club in West Vancouver on uh, August the 15th to the 23rd. So it's coming up. Make sure you go see the, the likes of Francesca, such talent, such stars of tennis, and also the tennis stars of the future. And you can see it. We've got two tickets to give away right now. Email us contest at btvancouver.ca, subject line, Van o